Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationers. Now we're back. We're still uh, still doing the old terraforming Mars. No, we haven't really progressed very far on that one as yet, but um, uh, we're getting closer. Uh, let's just keep my tool belt there. I'm not doing much mining anymore. Um, now I'm probably going to need some more water for much longer because uh, somebody keeps drinking it all. Uh, there we go. So we, uh, that's no good looking at the atmosphere in here, is there? Uh, let's just take some of this crap and chuck it in the recycler. Because um, we all know how important it is to be neat and tidy. Uh, you, is that air conditioner? Yeah, you can go. Portable generator, your garbage. And the flares as well. And everything else is probably good. Uh, right, now, uh, we're fed, we've had a drink, let's get going. Now I do have the rebalanced uh, nutrition and plants, so I don't have to eat and drink very often, but I do have to eat and drink a lot. Uh, now, round about, I have fixed the solar panels from the storm, uh, we've got a full charge on the battery. I could probably bring up some of this stuff, but... Um, well, I can't really carry it. Uh, right, now we are at 1.44% uh, oxygen. Uh, yeah, it's a bit hard to tell at the moment because the temp pressure does go up and down with the temperature. So um, a little bit pointless looking at that. But we are producing more nitrogen than anything else. So we've got 3.2%, 0.2 mole. Uh, I'm sure that was 0.3. Was it three percent? Anyway, three point two percent. So uh, hopefully we'll see that going up eventually. Um, but um, let's not hold your breath. Uh, right now, last time we got our sterling generators up and running. Uh, I've got two of them going at the moment to keep everything running. We still have two thousand three hundred and sixty-eight degrees, and see how slowly that's coming down. So that's going to take a long time to cool cool down. Uh, but we do have just nitrogen and CO2. There's no pollutant coming out of that thing. Uh, I did empty that in between. Oh, I've got back to 500 already. Okay, well, I did empty that in between episodes. And uh, it's come back again. Uh, so get rid of this crap. Um, go on. You can be gone. And bye bye to all that. Meh. Uh, right. Now, all that noisy crap's there. Let's go back. I'll probably set the rocket off straight away. Because uh, we always need that going. Uh, yeah. Right. Now. Uh, we're fueled up, we're ready to go. Rock and roll. Now, back to work. Now, we had last time, uh, now I had to pull the, the, uh, the uh, heat exchanger off that one because the furnace was getting a bit too hot and a bit high pressure. So, I'm going to have to drain that one. And um, I shall then also have to try and get the gases out of here because uh, this is my combustion area where we're fired everything up so I've got to automate the combustion and uh, get some extraction of the gases out there. So I could probably blow the whole lot that we make, blow the whole lot out of here into our turbines and um, get them chuffing along. Uh, we'll find out how much we can really generate from those things. So I might, uh, I'm going to have some hot gas there so I might replace this pipe and run the waste pipe uh, all the way back to here. I'll have to put some filtration units on here to extract the nitrogen and the carbon dioxide because I don't want to be blowing the, the, the fuel out. Um, and I shall need to put an atmospheric device onto this thing to once again blow out all of the nitrogen and uh, carbon dioxide from that. And I shall keep the 
pollutant in there as a working gas to run the furnace. Uh, so I'll still at 45% X. So by the time I cut it, get everything else out of there, um, it should come down to a small enough pressure where it won't just explode. And uh, it was pointed out that yes, I did still have some volatiles left in there. So uh, out you come. I probably need to automate these things too, so as they're not just running all the time and using up all my power. Although power is pretty good at the moment. Once I get the nitrolyzers happening, I will be pretty desperate for power. Uh, so now I've printed out a couple of vending machines and some other stuff. So I shall need some atmospherics. If I had some iron and copper, I would get some uh, atmospherics. Iron and put that away. Copper. Uh, you make me a few of them. That'll give me two. Uh, some more copper, perhaps. There we go. I'll give me a few more. So I have a heap of pipes, although I'll probably need a heap more than that. Uh, you, you. Um, now, got some chutes. I can put up some vending machines uh, so I can actually remember what each machine holds. Uh, no, nope, around the other way. There we go. Boop. On. Uh, you. And once I've got the vending machines there, I will be able to hook up um, hook up everything else, hook up an automatic, put up my um, all request system, so as I don't have to keep feeding ingots into the uh, into the printers. Uh, and you. And do I have more shoots? Uh, maybe not. Um, okay, well I'll need more shoots. Uh, I've got the pipes. I've got the atmospherics. Um, four, that's probably enough of them really. Uh, and some shoots. That's not many of them. Uh, iron. Have a few more of them. Right now, I shall want one of these on there, just as a temporary thing. I could probably put you, put you there. I'm running off the main power cable. That'll probably do. Um, in here, I can fit in. Uh, Fitting one, two, and three is all I can fit, so uh, that'll do for now. Um, you're going to be in the way. I'll need a chip and uh, some housings. I think I've got a chip somewhere. I've seen them kicking around. There's one. Some housings. Maybe not. Okay, so make me some uh, housings. Uh, you can make two. That'll be enough. Uh, we'll put you in there. Now, um, this waste pipe I need to replace. Yeah, uh, you will have to get out of my way. And. You, you, ah, cabling you up is going to be interesting. Oh no, we can cable them up. That's all right, don't panic. Um, 
Got to be dial. I can push you on to there. There we go. Nine megapascals. Really, that's all I got. There's some more. Now I shall need an output for these things. I shall need to hook them up to power. Um, so I'll need a waste pipe. I'll probably put that up the wall here and run that up to over there. Right. Yeah, I definitely need some more pipes. Whoops. Uh, so I better put some more pipes on the cook. Now I should have you there. Come on, pick up. There we go. Um, now, give me some pipes. Yep, make them. And I can put up some more vending machines. And have to do it one at a time because the switch is at the back. Madness. Uh, you. Oop. Open. No. No. Yeah, and that's the biomass. I don't need one on that. That'll be the lead. I do need one on that. Um, yeah, well, uh, right. Carbon dioxide and nitrogen I shall need into you. And I'll need some more filters, obviously. Uh, one each into these things. So you can go there, I'll need to cable you up. Uh, you can go there. And I do have cable, I do have cable. Very good. Oh, I'll need a pipe analyzer as well. I could use a tank. No, I'll use an analyzer. That'll give me a, a more accurate reading of what's actually in the pipe. Um, where's my cutters? Uh, I could put an analyzer just there and yeah, power go there. Doop done. Right, so you should all have power. Uh, uh, yep. CO2 to nitrogen. Very hot gas in there. Now, um, got to hook it over to there. I run a pipe just underneath the green one, which we use an insulated pipe because uh, might be best to use an insulated pipe next to the. Uh, uninsulated fuel lines. Uh, so, let's go with that. Pipe time. You need a couple more. And, uh, yeah, what the hell. Let's do a couple more out of there. Uh, That'll do us. Why is that enough? I don't know. Uh, so that is all connected. We want to connect to you. So you are up here. You'll need to go through the wall because I've got to connect it up to the furnace as well. Uh, oh, come on, you stupid frame.
down the wall and yep you you and you so that's it you should be all hooked up Yeah, there you go. So it's blowing that all out. Uh, yep, sorry. I did do that. That was my fault. Oh, why is there ice going out there? Oh, because I've switched that off. You idiot. <laughs> well, I said I wanted more ice. Let's go out there and grab it. Ah, too slow. Um, okay, well, so much for the ice. Um, right, now we've got that hooked up. I want to bring it through the wall and hook it up to that one as well. Uh, where was my drill again? Right, so my waistline has got to be... Uh, you can get out of my way. And uh, sure. Now pipe should be just there. I've got a floaty thing. I can't have floaty things. You've got to be gone. Nope. Mini floaty thing. Now you're gone. Uh, now I want you and weld you back up to make sure I still have a sealed room. Here we go. Yeah, I didn't breach anything by digging. We're okay. And I'll put the frame back up because I don't want the roof to fall down. Right now, you. Uh, oop. Uh, out of pipes again. Don't worry. All under control. Uh, now I needed some carbon dioxide. Grab a couple of them. Um, Come on, that one, that one, join into you. You, I can come up beside the door. Up to the middle one. And you. Right. So, grab you. I think I needed some of them too, didn't I? Yeah, just the one. Uh, they make me a couple of them. Now, um, right, so you're all built up, you all have power, I need to program the chip, um, you, I should, I should be able to just switch on, um, 
There we go. Thank you, power is that one over there. So I should just be able to switch you on and that should be the end of all of that. Uh, no, you can go away. And of course, you got to paint and you got to paint. Right, now my pressure should be going down in there, which it is, and it should just be taking the CO2 and nitrogen and leaving everything else, which it is. Excellent, so that'll be venting that stuff out. Uh, it's going to set you up. Why are you still having problems? That's because... Oh, I, is that because I made connections to the pipe? That's meant to be fixed. Um, whoops. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Right, it did say on there that it all been fixed. Uh, anyway, so uh, now where were we? Uh, nitrogen canisters, uh, that's probably enough of them. Give me back some more CO2. Uh, you, and you. And I had you in there, you're all good. And I've printed too many. Um, do I need one? No. Ah, uh, oh well. They're all good. You're not switched on, so yours will be good. And yours have been switched off, so you should be good. Alright, uh, now. Back to my hot thingy. I needed the, uh, the analyzer. So, uh, carbon dioxide. I said I needed one more of them. I lost count. Uh, yeah, that's enough. We're all good. We're all good. Uh, that's a spare one. That'll come in handy. That was completely deliberate. Um, it'll go well with the nitrogen one. Uh, now, anal uh, analyzer, you're in here. Uh, boop. Iron and electrum. I have some iron. Boop. And electrum is you and you. Right. Now I should have just about used up all of my um, uh, ores that came from the mining rocket. So pretty much everything I put out now should be degassed. Uh, so that's pretty easy to get that one. Uh, put it in the right machine might help. I should grab one of them. I can automate that. So that'll give me the stuff in the pipe. Um, that should be all I need. Uh, can I get another vending machine? Steel and gold. That I can do. Right, one more of them. Now, we want you lot. Um, you had all the uh, analyzer. That's what I needed. So you can go on to there and a coat of paint. There we go. Now that should be able to suck out all of them. Um, I suspect three won't be enough, but we'll soon see. Uh, so the chip I've got me computer. 
I need to automate. I need to automate the fuel mix because it's uh, they're not coming through the same temperature. So I do have a bit of surplus volatiles there. So I need to automatically adjust what's in there to make the the mix mix work properly. Um, right. So I have the mixer that and. Then uh, I could probably batch right to them, although not yet because I didn't hook up the data. Uh, right. I can hook up the data on that one. And. Uh, yeah, I'll go under the floor. That'll be ugly, but um, it'll work. Right. There we go. Easy. Hook you up. So now I've got the data and everything connected on those ones. I just need my chip. Now, um, I will have to set this up so as um, so I'm going to have to blow gas in there um, I don't want to continually blow it in there otherwise I'll end up with a mix which is just going to keep on rising in pressure probably until it explodes um, If I blow gas in there until it reaches, I don't know, 30 megapascals. Yeah, so I switch that off at 20 and it's still rising. 23. Yeah, 24. So if I switch the gas off when it reaches 30 megapascals, it shouldn't have enough there to explode the tank, especially with these things running. Um, and then I can just... Uh, suck the gas out of there uh, and I can maybe switch them off when it gets down to 20 megapascals because that runs out of fuel I don't want it to suck the tank dry because that's running all my sterlings and everything uh, so I switch them on when it's above 20 megapascals I'll switch that on when it's below 30 megapascals and that should get us a continuous drive going through there now the mix um, uh, so the hydrogen is on one, so that, that's the hydrogen setting. So at the moment, I've got a heap of volatiles in there, so I should set that low to get more nitrous in there. So if I get the percentage. Uh, the ratio of volatiles that will be the ratio of the entire tank so I need to know the ratio of volatiles and the ratio of NOS and if I divide the ratio of NOS by the total of those two that should get me the setting that I want to save to that so if there's more volatiles that'll give me a there's more NOS it'll give me a higher value um, now let's uh, let's uh, think about this as we do it uh, right import edit so I shall need um, uh, the sensor which is a pipe sensor 2D0 and uh, shall alias the mixer. Mix it to D1 and we should define the filtration uh, 
Filtration, you, boop. Filtration shall be you. Uh, there. Start, yield. Aha, <laughs> rocket didn't scare me that time. Ow, oh, hot burnies. Uh, now, I shall load into R0 from the sensor the uh, uh, ratio volatiles. We shall load into R1 from the sensor the ratio nitrous oxide. Uh, so now we want to uh, so if the volatiles are low, we want a low setting. Now we want a high setting. So if we've got lots of nitrous, we want a high setting, which will give us mostly uh, one, which is the volatiles. Okay. So the ratio of nitrous divided by the total of those two will give me the um, mixer setting. Okay, cool. Uh, so add uh, R2 equals R1 plus R0. That's the total of those two. So if I divide um, R2 is, 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 is the ratio of nitrous divided by the total of the two. Um, uh, you've been setting uh, two. Uh, Right, that'll do us for a little test. So I needed the, uh, the sensor, pipe analyzer, and the mixer. Right. Let's give me a state zero, which is all volatiles. Well, that's not right. We want nitrous because we got volatiles. So uh, let's reverse that around then. I. What the? Oh, that stupid friggin' screwdriver. Why is that a thing? Um, uh, right. So we want the ratio of volatiles divided by the total. Confirm. Export. All right, so now I've got one, uh, which will be all nitrous. We switch that on. Uh, five. It wants a point five, which is not nitrous. So it should be more volatiles. So it should be giving me a high number. Uh, oh, is that giving me a division? But oh, okay. So if there's no NOS there, is that because that's ah right? Um, uh, it might have been giving me a zero because uh, I had no nitrous in there. Right, uh, let's put that back the way it was then. That might be something I have to trap then. Yes. So now it's giving me a low value, which it should do. There's all the nitrous burns. Once there's no nitrous, it'll give me a zero, which will give it to all hydrogen, which is bad. That's bad, I'm okay. Uh, so, I shall need to put in 
I, uh, max, just to make sure we're not getting a zero value in there. And you uh, copy. All right, that's just to make sure I don't get a zero value. And now I'm not getting a zero value. And four, five. Oh, okay, I better put in a, a smaller number than that. Because I've only got a very small amount in there. That's better. Right, so now if I write that number back to, I'll have to multiply it by 100 because the the, uh, the mixer wants for that. So if I then say uh, multiply uh, R2 by 100 and uh, save mixer setting R2. Right, now it should set that and it's adjusting it nicely. So we should have a nicely mixed fuel in there, volatiles and NOS, look at that, both the same. Sweet. Um, right, so that's my fuel mixer set. So now I want to switch that on when we're above 30 megapascals. So we'll just keep going here. I shall load into R0 from the sensor, sensor the uh, pressure. I shall set R1 if the pressure, uh, let's try set uh, if it's less than, Set uh, R1 if the pressure, I can, I'll need to use the pressure again, so I'll use a set R1 if the pressure is less than uh, 30 megapascals. Save uh, mix, mixer on R1. So if it's less than 30 megapascals, switch the mixer on. If it's more than 30 megapascals, switch it off. So now uh, we shall set greater than, so we want to set the, um, switch the uh, extractors on if it is greater than 20 megapascals. So set uh, R1 if the pressure, can we use uh, R1 because I've finished with it now, is uh, greater than uh, 20 megapascals. And we can save batch um, filtration on R1. Right. Oh. All right, you got me that time. Uh, uh, switch off. Now, um, you can yeah. out. Now, uh, where are we at? We are at 30 megapascals, so that should not switch on, but the extractors should. Uh, well, let's just see how we go. Um, you are near enough. I switch you on. You're dropping in pressure. Dropping in pressure, if I switch you on, we're going up in pressure. We're still going up in pressure. Okay, so that, oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 sh
Switch off. No, switch off. Switch off. I'll just, I'll just, just switch everything off. Goal. That was bad. Um. Ooh, okay, it's hot. It's hot. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Some of them are still working. I'm just playing the crap out of these ones, though. Well, these things are rubbish. If they get too much pressure, they explode. I mean, it gets, I finally get a decent bit of breeze in there and you just explode. I thought I was going to get some decent power, but they're, they're garbage. <laughs> um, I'm going to need a stronger door. I'd probably best replace the rest of that pipe, hadn't I? Um, right. Stronger door. Now, I believe we have a blast door. They're, I think, the strongest. Um, oh, vending machine. Uh, let me shoot. Um, put you away. I've already got that on there. Put them away then. Uh, put you on there. My vending machines are complete. Look at that. Pretty. Um... Now, door. Uh, is that just a door? Is that a variation? No, no, we've got a special one. Blast door. I'll take one of them then. Um, so what is that? Uh, door. Blast door. Ah... Uh, Undamageable. That sounds promising. Uh, there's effectively no limit to the pressure the blast doors can contain. Right, that sounds what I need. Uh, so, apart from having crappy turbine generators, <laughs> I finally got something to... Oh, shit. Uh, Finally got something where it's going to be, this is ideal for putting in turbo generators, and they break! What the hell? I want me money back on those. Well, the door's in the way, so I'll have to go over the top of the door. Because that's the way it is. Mm. That's easy enough. Oh, and the cable too. Yeah, I've got cable. We're good. Well, I suppose I don't really need the cable anymore, do I? It doesn't work. I'll just leave you here to take a good hard look at yourself. Ah, uh, there. And what do I need? I need a welder and steel sheets. Ah, don't have any steel sheets. I've got an idea. Let's go get some steel sheets. Uh, boop. And probably some plastic sheets too. But uh, we'll get there. You. Or crowbar and steel sheets. Well, that's a very steel door. Now, indestructible. You stay there and those crappy turbines can explode. Ah, uh, right. Well, almost set the base on fire. Oh, why didn't I get a screenshot of that? Ah, imbecile. Ah, uh, right. Now, um, 
42 megapascals. Okay, yep. I still will need that going. Now, okay, so three of those is not enough. So I do need to, we'll have to keep switching that off. Um, Now, uh, what do we want to do? I just had to switch it on. It's all set up, isn't it? Um, oh, if I switch that on. Okay, so that stays off until this gets to 20 megapascals. And then until it gets to 30 megapascals. And then that should switch on again. Uh, set to 99% input too. So I should have just volatiles in there, which I do. Uh, you're going to take a little bit to get down there. And hopefully I don't explode, explode everything else. Uh, what temperature are we going at? Uh, temperature. <laughs> Four and a half thousand. Yeah, that's probably churning out some decent power down there then. Uh, yeah, too much. Uh, yeah, potential 16 kilowatts. So we've got both of them running at full speed. Uh, you're going down. What are you doing? You're down to 11 megapascals. A little bit of CO2 left. Right, so I can probably put you back on there then. Heat up the furnace. Here we go. Now that shouldn't explode. It's going up to 4,000, so double that. Yeah, it will be fine. So here you go. I'm down to 30. 31. Oop. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and switch on adjusting levels switch off again right so you are making hot gas for me you will keep doing that until we run out of gas so we've got three megapascals of this stuff left and that's not going to last long. Okay. Well, we've got our automated gas production running. Now, what do we got in here? Uh, nitrogen. We're 3.27% nitrogen now. Was that just because I've blown up stuff in the room? What was it before? It was 3.3. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I might have to put up a scoreboard somewhere so I can remember this. We should be getting a higher percentage of nitrogen as we go. Uh, and lower percentage of CO2. Oxygen. I could be pumping the oxygen out as well. I could be dumping that. Uh, I don't, well, I'm going to use it for making NOS, aren't I? I've got 10 megapascals in there, so I've certainly got plenty. Uh, 20 megapascals there, so I've got plenty of you to throw away. Um, uh, I don't know. Right, so nitrolyzers. That's going to be the next thing to get. And how are we doing? Uh, yeah. Not going to explode. We're all good. Uh, yeah, you can probably done your thing now. You're still doing your thing. That'll be staying hot. And now we're down to two and a half megapascals here. That's not going to last long. That's going to burn up really, really quickly. So I need the nitrolyzers going. And uh, we'll see what we can do. So, I want atmospherics kit. Now, um, now, this is one of those things that I have not used before. So, let's have a look at the instructions. 
I know, weird, right? Uh, nitrous oxide, large amount of energy process. Okay. So it's not going to completely transform at all, so I'm go am going to have to filter it all after I've made it. Uh, more NOS will be created if the mix is close to 1 to 1. So I've got to mix it. Second guess if not required. It's a pre Okay, so if it's mixed, we don't need. So it's got a separate input for the. Um, so I've got two inputs, one output. So we can use a separate input for each of the uh, oxygen and nitrogen. I'm going to have to filter the output by the looks of it. Um, so power, I need to put, put on the heavy power line. Power is that one there. I can hook the output straight into that. Oh, damn. Um, phew, that's better. Uh, right. I don't mind the orange on a lot of things, but the fridge and nitrilizer shouldn't be orange. No, no. I don't know what's special about them. They just shouldn't be. Uh, right, now I might put a couple of valves on there because I don't know if there's going to be any blowback. I'll hook up a separate line for, for uh, each of them. Uh, I'll probably want quite a few pipes for this, won't I? Uh, yeah. Um, now, so some valves. I've used my valves on the other thing. Uh, so that's not a V. Grabbing a couple of them. And, and two. Okay, now these chew up a fair bit of power. So yeah, we'll run it straight off the main power line. And I'll need to hook to oxygen. Which I can get from just there. Uh, switch off that light, it's a little bit too bright. shouldn't do that. It does sometimes delete your pipe network if you put down too much of it, if you mess around with a loaded pipe. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, you haven't fixed this guys. Whatever you put in that update didn't work. Assuming that the update's downloaded and I didn't just uh, get this before it pushed. Uh, right, so that's the oxygen. I need the nitrogen, which will be you. Got you, and you should be that one. Now I should have that's world pipe. I have nitrogen, sixteen megapascals, and I have. Oxygen, cool. Now, uh, it's giving me an error because I haven't painted at all. I know I'm getting there. Uh, right, I have them on the way. Now, I shall need. Uh, I might just leave that unconnected for now. Now I need power. 
Lots of power. Uh, no. Right. Now, um, is that it? It's putting out seventeen percent. Yeah. Pretty slowly, four miles, five miles. Oh you know, crap, that's very slow. Ah, uh, ow. <laughs> it's just about used up all of that. Just uh, right. Oh, so much for that. Oh, so it is over five thousand degrees. Nice. My furnace has probably done that as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably should put a pump on there just to blow in some hot gas until it gets to about 2,000. Because I don't really need 5,000 there. It's going to be wasting a fair bit of heat. Uh, so I'll need to automate the, uh, that a bit later on. Uh, right, now... Um, so it's getting 17%. Ah, uh, right. This says, says, if it's, if it gets a one to one, because now I've got different pressures in here, it's 10 megapascals and 20 megapascals. So if I get 10 megapascals of each, will that give me a better, a better production? Um, Right, now that we've had it running, I better check and make sure we've got no blowback on that. That's still perish oxygen. That is still nitrogen. Right, so there's no, no blowback from the machine there, so those pipes will keep clean if you put in one of each. Uh, so let's... Uh, I do have some pressure regulators. Here we go. So if I put in them... Uh, oop. So that's 400. Why 400? Yep, that's why. Yeah. You're both at 400, so we have the same amount of each, same pressure on each one. And we have 17.6% NOS. Okay, so don't worry about the pressure, that makes no difference whatsoever. Um, so if we mix it to a one-to-one, 50-50 one, mix. Now, uh, okay, so if we put in 50-50 mix, uh, oop, not too much. Uh, near enough. Let's switch that on. I've got 17.3 percent. Okay, so uh, don't pay any attention to what it says in the instructions. It makes no difference what you put in there. So just uh, it'll always produce the same by the looks. Well, provided you've got enough there to keep it going. Uh, so just putting in the straight pipes directly into it, or the mixed mix, or pressurised ones, they all produce the same amount of stuff there. So. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that's a load of garbage, to you, what it says in the wiki. Lies. Lies, I tells you. Um, whoop. Right, so that's merely chugging along. Uh, is it producing that much, or is that just what I had in the pipe there from my testing? Yeah, it's barely got enough there to do anything. And oh, okay, you've all switched off because it's uh, it's below 20 megapascals. You are trying to blow stuff in here. 
But it's not working, is it? You got nothing. Uh, one kilopascal, yeah. Okay, so that's not producing gas quick enough to actually be useful. I'm going to need a heap of them. Alright. Ah, uh, so I'm going to have to put it in. Uh, yeah, okay. So. Uh, I don't have a. Alright, let's get some uh, uh, configuration cartridge. I'll need you. Uh, tablet. I'll need you. Uh, how many? I'll need you. And some batteries. I'll need you. Right, configuration tablet. You have to be yellow, because that's the rules. Uh, and some copper. Yeesh, I got no copper. It's okay. Um, put that away. Uh, boop. Now, um, nope, missed. Right, now you can uh, maybe come out of here somewhere. That's pretty central to everything. Uh, cable cutters. Away we go. One. Oh well. It'll do. Uh, drill. Right. Oh, you horrible thing. Right, take it out, put it back in. Now we Yeah. So um, six kilowatts. Yay. It's a hundred percent efficiency, so that's as good as it gets by look. Um now I'm going to put in a heap of them. I'm going to need six kilowatts each. And I'm getting, I'm getting eight out of each of those ones, aren't I? When, when, when it's hot enough. Therefore, I'm not producing enough gas to power them. Uh, uh, is this going to be efficient? Or at least break even? If I can get this to produce enough heat, power the uh, electrolyzers that I need to create the heat I'll be okay but if it's uh, if they chew up more power than actually they produce uh, I'll be in trouble I'll have to find another source of power um, but anyway I might put up a heap of them maybe downstairs across the road from the other things down there um, I probably better call me rocket back hadn't I because uh, we are about done for the day. Uh, the nitrolyzers are slow. Uh, you are just about ready to come back. Why are you not using any fuel? It says five, you're coming back. 
Oh, we're back. Okay. Oh, I thought I'd lost my rocket then. No, but you're good. Right. Well, that'll get me some more nitrous. Um, so that'll be something. Um, right. But uh, this this might be a little tricky now. So I've actually got to get enough nitrous now to produce all the gas I need to uh, uh, keep the atmosphere running. And the temperature's going down. Well, the pressure's going down. Because the temperature's going down. Uh, here comes some more. Um, right. Uh, well, there we go. Um, so we have automated our atmospheric production although I don't have enough fuel to produce the atmosphere I need so that's going to be a problem the nitrilizers are very slow so that's going to be a problem um, vending machines are up uh, the furnace is going good uh, yeah but other than that well um, yeah so I've still got a. I may have to get the plants used to growing in a low pressure system. Uh, but I'll have to uh, have to actually see if I can get some readings on the atmosphere, and I'll put up a scoreboard somewhere. I shall put up a heap of nitrolysis in between episodes, and um, see how we go. Anyway, till next time. Happy building. See ya.